Hello my friends and welcome to MB Shoe Doc Review Series where we will explore the world of quality shoes for men. We will cover general shoe care and knowledge, review the brand you love, and introduce you to brands that you've never heard of. So get yourself ready and let's dive right into today's unboxing video. All right, gentlemen, I've got what I think will be a very exciting unboxing here today. If you didn't know already, I am a huge fan of this brand, TLB Mallorca, and fairly recently they started making shoes in Shell Cordovan. This is going to be an unboxing of a Navy Shell Cordovan. It's the 107 model. And it's on the Van Gogh, the new Van Gogh Last. So let's take a look. Now, first thing I'll kind of point out is, you know, they have kind of a fairly kind of plain box. They don't do anything too fancy. I mean, it's a nice box, but there's nothing particularly special about it. Um, they do have each shoe in its own individual shoe bag, which I am a very big fan of. But you know, again, there's not a lot in the box, you know, fairly simple. Uh, and I think that's totally fine. They're not trying to show off with a fancy box. You know, they spend all their time on what's in the bags here. Let's take a look at these beautiful shoes. Ooh, look at this absolutely beautiful shoe loving the color on this shell cordovan it's not too dark sometimes navy shoes can be so dark that they look almost black but there's definitely some color to it um, not not a boring shade it's a very nice shade of navy uh, they did come with shoe trees which is a really nice touch wooden shoe trees and these feel to be a lasted shoe tree as well i mean it fits inside here absolutely perfectly let's take a look at this beautiful medallion on the toe the unique adelaide broguing kind of a sharp line here where most adelaides are kind of rounded it's just a very unique style and they are good you're welted let's take a look See at this the... really fine fudging detail and look how tight this is to the upper they have a really high stitch density on these and look at the sole that's really slim beveled waist here. They don't do a full fiddle back, but just a nice little uh, bevel here. Nice little rounded waist. And the JR soles, leather soles. And it's a blind stitch sole, so it's good you're welted, but you don't see the channel. So a hidden channel or a blind stitch. And again, just looking at that heel block, that's a stacked leather heel, and just how tight and clean that is to the uppers. Let's pull out the other shoe and look at them together here. There's the other shoe. Again, absolutely beautiful. As I'm looking this one over, you know, I don't see any kind of flaws or anything like that. Just beautiful construction. The shell is really soft uh, and, and smooth. Really feels great. They use uh, Ricardo shell. That's, uh, I believe, the tannery is in Italy. And this Ricardo shell, it's really exceptionally smooth right out of the box. It really looks great. You know, all shell Cordovan has little little bumps or little blemishes or little, little pits and things like that in the leather. And there's not much at all to that. Um, but yeah, maybe a little couple spots here and there. I think just a recondition and a brushing will really do a lot to bring out uh, the color on these. Alright, so first thing, I'm going to take a little bit of Saphir Renovateur. Shouldn't take much here, but just getting a little little dab on the, on the fingertip. I'm just going to rub this over. 
the entire shoe here. So I've got these conditioned with the Sphere Renovateur. I'm going to give them a quick brushing off. And already I can tell that has made a difference, just really bringing out what we like to refer to as the shell glow. Or just the entire entire uh, leather just has a nice shine to it. So for anyone that doesn't know, shell cordovan is not cow leather. It's from a horse. More specifically, it's the horse's rump. And it's not just the leather, but it's this fibrous tissue in the horse's rump. And so it's a much smaller piece of leather, much more rare, and makes it a fair amount more expensive too. But wow, this has really shined up beautifully. I will say I don't have too, too many Shell Cordovan shoes, but I've got a fair number. And these um, were already smoother and shined up quicker than any shell in my collection. I've got other shell shoes that uh, eventually became quite beautiful, but required quite a bit of brushing, quite a bit of work. Um, but these really look quite beautiful right out of the box. Really uh, pretty impressed with these already. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's get this other one brushed off to match. Just looking at these again after just conditioning and brushing and like I said they've got that nice shell glow just very reflective leather so shell cordovan again is non-porous so typically you don't use a lot of product on it at all and that's why it does have that nice shell glow because it doesn't have the pores like regular calfskin leather does so it's just a very smooth surface now, a lot of people don't use any products on theirs at all. I do tend to use just a little bit of mirror gloss just on the toes, kind of like the way I would um, a regular leather shoe, but I do uh, use less of it. So I'm going to add just a little bit here and shine these up. And again, this Shell Cordovan is kind of a new thing to the, the TLB Mallorca's lineup. And these are... 599 euros which is you know a little bit more than their regular artista collection but really quite reasonable compared to other brands that that sell shell cordovan like my carminas were probably closer to 800 dollars so 599 euros depending on the euro dollar conversion right now it's almost an even trade I believe so yeah five hundred ninety nine dollars for this shoe you're getting into about the same price actually a little less than um, Shell Cordovan from Allen Edmonds and the construction and just the detail on these is certainly to a higher caliber I love my Allen Edmonds but uh, these are these are definitely a level above so I'll let that mirror gloss dry and take this cloth here damp get just a little bit of wax on my fingertips here and I'm just gonna buff this area really this is done in a similar way to the way I would on calfskin leather to do a mirror shine but just every step of it is um, just less of it so less wax is used less moisture 
In fact, purists probably would be against what I'm doing right now. And they would probably say not to put wax on them at all. But you can. You can kind of see the process here. It's very similar to shining a pair of calfskin leather shoes. Uh, just using a little less wax, a little less moisture, and probably going to spend less time on them as well. I don't need to get that that full mirror shine. Just adding a little extra. So we'll pick back up in just a moment when I'm uh, finished with these. So here we are. A little extra shine added to the toe. Again, completely unnecessary, but. I sure like the way it looks. A little shine on the heel and the toe. Absolutely stunning shoes from TLB Mallorca. The 107 Adelaide model on the new Van Gogh Last. Normally it comes on the Picasso Last. Decided to go with a slightly different last shape. I'll do another video here in the near future comparing the Picasso and the Van Gogh. They are very similar, but absolutely stunning. If you've not already explored this brand, you owe it to yourself to do so. And I will be very excited to have these on the feet extremely soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share it with some friends, and I'll see you on the next one.